Is Sneed coming to the Titans? Man, we're going to get into it tonight here on the season premiere of Tuesday Night Lights. So excited you guys could be with me tonight to talk Tennessee Titans, talk about a whole bunch of things. Don't forget to hit that like button. We're already at eight likes. Appreciate every single one of you for, for basically coming in here to talk Titans. So here's the scoop. Got a, got a great show planned. I need your feedback. I need your help in the poll question, what we're doing with corner. There are some things that came out today that um, I think is worth talking about. Yes, the Titans did sign someone. Yes, the Titans were in the news when it came to rumors and possibilities. Derek Henry also spoke, which there are some nuggets there as well. And the Tennessee Titans are bringing in a former All-Pro from the Buffalo Bills after he gets done with his visit to the Rams. And then there was breaking news about Chase Young. I'm telling you, this show can't wait to discuss tights because there is so much to unpack. It's not just sit in front of the camera here and just BS our way through. No, 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 no. We're not doing that tonight. We have news to cover. This isn't like last time we came on where, hey, we're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about this. This is actual stuff going down and I need your feedback. I need your opinions on what you think it means. I'll give you my kind of scoop on what I think it means. I'll tell you what some media guys think it means. We got a Teron Davenport signing and hearing. We, we got loads of information when it comes to the Titans. I wanted to do something draft tonight. That's what the vision was. That's what the game plan was. Draft. We were drafting it up tonight. And we were going to go through some mock drafts tonight. Fortunately, we'll save that for another day. So shout out to Titans Rossi for a great show last night and the producer. And shout out to the Power Hour and Titans Time podcast with a great show as well. And yes, we will be doing multiple formats. I promise you. Next show, full screen. This show, shorts. So again, you'll see the three little dots in the corner. Hit that like button for us. Help us out. Show that you care. Show you care. If you want to come in here, give me all this information, and you're going to come in here and talk the talk, then at least show you care, right? Because I care about you, and that's why we are here live tonight, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, when this guy has got to wake up in the morning at 5 in the morning and go to work and spend the day at work. And it, it's it's I love my job. But I can't just stop my job and go do Titan stuff and then go back to my job. This is where it's at. So I appreciate you and I appreciate all of you hanging in. A lot of energy tonight because I'm excited. I'm excited to talk Titans. So let's start with probably the most, uh, I don't know. I still think it was important news. I still think it was very important news when it comes to the Tennessee Titans. And that is the Chase deal. Chase Young signs, right? So we thought, I, I mean, I'll be the first one to tell you, and I can't wait to get to your opinion in the chat. And then also trying to get the poll question going here again, the poll question really quick to ask you, and you guys are alive and well in the chat. And I appreciate every single one of you, like I've said about a million times, but it's true. We're almost to 40 poll before we even started. And uh, my question was, do you want Rand to go all in for Sneed? And we have, yes, make him the highest paid. No, stand firm. Or let's add Tredavious White instead or draft a corner. Like, and I'm not talking let's draft a corner at like seventh round. I'm just like talking, hey, 38, we're drafting some Kool-Aid out of Alabama. That's what I'm talking about. And actually, the more I like, oh, man, I really like it. I'll, I'll get to that. If you're in the Section 145 Club, my two guys this week premiering for that, doing a video on are going to be Chase Young, or not Chase Young, I'm sorry, now I'm getting all thrown for a loop, not Chase Young, uh, are going to be Joe Alt from Notre Dame, the tackle, and Kool-Aid, the corner from Alabama. Those are going to be my two guys I'm going to start with, and then I'll eventually get it out to the community for everybody else. So let's talk about Chase Young just for a second, because, again, Sneed's the main talk tonight. And, again, debut of Tuesday Night Lights. Let's go. I'm excited. I really am. Because, I mean, this was the vision Along, not YouTube Shorts Live. I mean, that, that was never the vision. You know, when YouTube Shorts came out, I'm not even go down that thing. But I was like, oh, my gosh. And, and to be honest, YouTube Shorts, is it is what it is. We're doing it because 
We're going to try it out, and, and apparently a lot of you like it. So we're, we're going to do what you want us to do. But, again, some of you want full frame, and we're going to do that too. Okay? So here, let's talk Chase Young. Chase Young apparently had a neck injury or whatever. I didn't know about that. Did you know about that in the chat? If you did, leave a comment. Let me know. I had no idea. So I'm getting on power. I mean, him are having a healthy Titans discussion. And, and, you know, power hour, you know, he keeps me in check because I, I can be wild and I could have my wild thoughts and I'm all over. And I think for those of you that have subscribed to me in the past, when things were really flowing here on the network and I was dialed in and I was giving you weekly content and all that kind of stuff before all everything went, went awry. And thank goodness for my buddies who joined the team to help us out and get through those tough times. But, but my point is, you, you know, I, sometimes I'm out there and you guys in the chat, you, you help me out a lot too. You keep me in check, right? Because I got these wild thoughts and so And some of them actually come true, by the way. So again, Chase Young, again, the neck injury, I'm getting on, I'm, I'm power. I'm like, dude, now what are we going to do? We're going to draft somebody? Is that, a, are we going to draft someone in the seventh round? I mean, what are we doing? I, I'm freaking out. Linebacker, I'm, I'm still, I'm sure of, right? Middle linebacker, that's got me worried. Cornerback, a little bit worried for sure, right? So there's our safety. There's holes in the defense. Offense, I get it. Will Levis, we got some pieces now on offense. Ridley, I'm excited about. We're trying to fix the offense line. I think we will when we draft Alt. I think that's a guaranteed lock as long as he's there, right? They're going to draft left tackle as long as they're there. Um, but then back to Chase Young, I'm like, man, I didn't really like him that much. And then we looked at his stats and we looked at pro football focus. We looked at some other things. We're like, wow, Chase Young was very effective. Put him with Landry and Simmons on that defensive line. You're talking 10 solid sacks last year. I'm thinking, wow, this is going to be great for the Tennessee Titans. And then all of a sudden we hear Carolina. Well, you know, that didn't work out. And then we hear the Saints. And don't worry, upload, man. The Saints don't have any cap room. They're not going to bring him. They're, they're not going to sign. They might, they'll bring him in, but they're not going to sign him. And sure enough, he doesn't make us to make it to us. But then all along, like, did Rand know? Did Rand know about the neck injury or whatever it was? He's going to have surgery. He'll be ready, though, in training camp, late training camp or whatever it is. I'm like, thank goodness for Rand because <laughs> thank goodness that did not work out. So that, that's where we'll start today. Chase Young, are you excited? You're not excited about that. Let me get to your comments. Harpoon Bakery says, I am shaking for such big news. Uh, we got a little bit of nugget that came out. There, there is a little bit of spin to this that I'm, I'm going to I don't want to foreshadow negative thoughts on the channel, but I would say that this thing might simmer down a little bit, but there's definitely some optimism for sure. This could be a game changer. Where does a live trade reaction stream start? Let's go. James says pay Sneed. We have the money. We don't need to help the Chiefs. There's one important nugget that we got to discuss. Ryan says, what's up? Hey, Ryan, what's up, buddy? Thanks for always being here. I appreciate you. The world of the internet first today. Let's go. Love, love the icon. As far as I can see, the crawl. I love it, man. I love it. Harpoon said this will show the Colts who's boss. Supreme Nick, this is like D Hop coming to the Tennessee Titan room. And Supreme Nick, it happened. Remember uh, Clowney coming to the Titans? Rumor at first, then Ken Moore came on, be like, oh my gosh, what's Ken Moore new? He don't know anything. And actually, he does. And then here comes Clowney, right? Uh, most, most exciting of the EWS is most exciting of the off season, long time. Um, Javon says, if we get Sneed, we're shocking the world. LOL. Uh, should we trade Burks? We can get to that at some point, please bring it back up. I will go ahead and use some technology here and star it. So I can come back later. Later. Uh, if we trade Sneed, I always would, I would trade Burks. Sneed talk. Oh my nomadic Brian. What's up? Everybody wants some Sneed. I am not in the camp that wants me. I've not changed my opinion on it. I think you'll agree with me tonight, but the latest rumor that I heard, I'm like, mm. Mm. Brian, shout out to Brian. Uh, he's number seven O line, 38 defensive line edge third round. Uh, we don't have a third round, but I'm assuming we're going to trade up and take a third round pick. And then fourth, uh, we, 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 I, you know, the, the third round pick, it is concerning. I'll get to that in a minute too. Rave says, still need a safety. You are right. Had no idea about the net injury. Glad it didn't happen though. Thanks for the thumbs down. Pretty sure we know where that came from. Shout out to whoever did that, but that's cool. Twin, twin, twins. What's up? Boom, boom, boom. Tighten up. Hawkins, Chase Young, definitely not worth 13. Student of the game. Trey is an elite quarterback. Student of the game. Is he though? 
We will break that down. Brock Bowers at pick seven. That would shock the world, I think. Although um not exactly I mean, I'm I'm all on board on on, on some Bowers from Georgia. Uh, I think we do need an elite tight end. I think it would be a game changer for Will Levis. Draft Joel Alt, Jared Gibson. I think that's where we're gonna go. So Luke, one more, we'll get Luke one more time. He says, Why do y'all think other teams want sucky players? No one wants Burks. Why would anyone want Burks? Well, to be fair, Luke, and, and you can agree with me or disagree. I'm just throwing it out there. To be fair, I learned this one from the great, and, and shout out to, to above. Well, there we go, to above, to Floyd Reese. Floyd Reese, if you're a Titans fan and you just became a Titans fan, you may not know who Floyd Reese is, and that's fine, okay? But if you've been a Titans fan since they've been in Nashville, you know exactly who Floyd Reese is. If you were an Oilers fan who transitioned like I was to the Titans, because I was born in Houston, Texas, you, you will know who Floyd Reese is. One of the best GMs the Titans have ever had. John Robinson was getting close until he traded A.J. Brown and drafted Isaiah Wilson and some other whatever. The bottom line is Floyd Reese, when we, when we break down um, Floyd Reese in general, uh, we'll get back to here's the comment about Burks. Floyd would always say, you have to do your homework on everybody. Okay? You have to do your homework on everybody. The life is, sure, you can get by in life cheating your way through life, but eventually it's going to come back to you, right? Eventually you're either a going to get caught or B you're going to learn that, Hey, going the cheaper out eventually got me the game of life going in the wrong direction. And it might've got me, you know, some bonus points early on, but later on in life, man, came back to haunt you. Just like you growing up as a kid, if you got everything you wanted, when it was time to face some adversity and, and figure it out, and you're used to getting everything you wanted as a kid, well, you're just going to think you get everything you wanted in life. And you know that's not always accurate, always true. Some people, yeah, they're they're blessed. Let's just say that. <laughs> Shout out to them people. Okay, maybe they're in here tonight and they're going to super chat. Maybe. But my point is Floyd would say, you know this book. You study everybody. You There's no stone unturned. You got it all covered. And some people, GMs in the league, scouts, in the league, former college scout, whatever, may really like Burks. So when you say no, he sucks and all that stuff, he, he may, he may suck, he may not be any good, but there might be some GM across the board that did their homework on Burks and they liked themselves some Burks. And what do I always tell you? What do you tell me? Everybody tells each other this one, I believe. It's okay. Give me an opportunity. I'll fix it. I'll take care of it. I know how to fix this situation. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Those of you that invest money in a certain situation where you get it discounted, you're thinking, hey, I can fix it and get it right back into running shape. Well, good for you. But not all of us can do that. I, by the way, speaking of upload here, shout out to Mrs. Upload. It's not feeling well, but shout out to Mrs. Upload. Shout out to the producer. Shout out to my uh, daughter, Lila. Shout out to her and my two young ones. But this guy fixed and put in a new thermostat this week. Let's give let's give me a shout out for that. Can I get a can I get a like for that? Can I get a couple likes? Is that some thumbs down? Can I get a couple likes? Yeah. Put a new Google, whatever that's called, thermostat. And I was really skeptical. I thought for sure, hey, I know how to fix it. I know what I'm doing. Just like, hey, maybe I know what I'm doing in trailing trading for trailing birds. But at the end of the day, Man, when it said, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong in the app, I'm freaking out. Now, I did fix it, and I did just see my heat go from 67 to 77 in a matter of five seconds. Like, it just switched. So I got to figure that all crap out. I mean, heck, one time I was walking downstairs, it said 82 for heat. My gosh, the heat bill is going to be ginormous. But back to your original comment, again, with Burks, I think there's someone out there that might like themselves some Burks. Question is, can Rand find out who it is? Um, and we'll see, we'll see. Is it, you know, who knows? Maybe someone comes through it. I I'm not really sure, but in the end of the day, I'd keep Burks because I don't think you're going to get much for him. That's the, that's the bottom line jets. They may want him, but I don't know if I'd trade him for what they're asking. Sin city Titan says, what's up? I don't want Snead for the money he's going to get. And he wants to get paid. 
Luke says, first time joining live. I appreciate you, buddy. Gus says, I want Sneed, but no need to break the bank over $20 million. We are betting against ourselves. And Al said, Chase took too many plays off in the Super Bowl for my liking. And if you can't get up for the Super Bowl, I don't know. And that's kind of the downfall of Cam Newton, wasn't it? Like, he didn't take any ownership of the loss in the Super Bowl, and then he never got back, I don't think. Uh, Volcano, go Tennessee, the two seed. The, these need rumors are fake, guys. We will get to that. Burke says, still need upside. Imagine him on the Chiefs. So let's keep going. Shout out to Joe, our buddy Joe member, Sin City Titan member, Al a member. Appreciate you guys. Joe celebrates 19 months of membership, baby. He said, we um, need a true lockdown corner with speed. And he says, Cheeto and McCreary, that's one of the best cornerback rooms we have and had in recent room. Had in had recent room. Uh, there are talks now that people like Buck, right? Is it Buck? Floating out the idea that Titan should re-sign. I'm hope I'm I, I this, he was being sarcastic. He wants to re-sign Christian Fulton. War score of 254. Christian Fulton, who gets hurt all the time. Who's who's a guy that says I can't comment on the game because I got to watch tape first to be able to have a comment. Christian Fulton, weren't you supposed to watch the tape before the game to know what your opponent was going to do to you? Why do you need to watch tape after the game to see what you're expected to do to your opponent during the game? And Texas to Michigan. Hey, real quick, if you guys want, there were only seven guys last time I checked, but if you guys want to join our March Madness, it's for fun. Now, I can tell you live here that, sure, if you end up winning this thing, you're not just going to win it to be like, hey, we'll make it worth your while. But there's no cost to get in it. It's absolutely free. It's fun. And you want to test out your March Madness? You want to make fun of my Illinois fighting Illini, the three seed? You think BYU will beat them, the number six? Maybe you think Iowa State, number two, will beat them. I don't know. Bottom line is, it's your chance to prove how much you know about college basketball. So if you want in on that, you can find it in the community page. So after you obviously hit the subscribe button and the like button, which is still stuck at 26, by the way. And I, I did the thermostat, and you guys didn't change it at all. So shame on all of you in the chat. But it's not easy to find. It's the three dots and boom, boom, boom. So that's our first situation. All right. Let's get to the easy one. Let's get the easy one out of the way. Okay. This one I would say is uh, pretty easy, right? Sebastian Joseph Day. Sebastian Joseph Day joins the old football team. So who is Sebastian and why does he join the football team? Well, he's 6'4", 310. Uh, he's from Rutgers. His draft year was 2018. Says he's roughly 28, going to be 29. Six-round selection, 195 overall. Now, the guy is, he's going to be a backup. I mean, let's just call for what it is. He's going to be a backup. You're you are adding some depth to the defensive line. So, honestly, guys, I, I don't really see too much of an issue with adding this guy. I mean, overall, you're getting a 61. Uh, according to Pro Football Focus, he's not very good against the run. He's not really good against pass rushing either he's a little bit better 62.8 he had three sacks on the year which ain't terrible 15 hurries 25 total pressures seven hits um he had roughly looks like 500 and some total snaps uh that he had now his career is is this like a lightning in a, in a bottle type situation last year worst game against the Miami Dolphins then Kansas City Chiefs those were both in the 40s so you got to deal with that. He did have a good good game against Green Bay. He had a good game against the Jets. He had a really good game against Dallas. So, I mean, that that gives me a little bit of hope, right? Um, as far as moving on overall, his season grades uh, for this guy. Um, we had 2022, 51 overall. Uh, 2021, 61 overall. 2020. Now he only had 200 or he had limited snaps, I believe, but he was 80.6. So that that's what the Titans are trying to get back to 2020 LA chargers total snaps for 12, but he had almost an 81 score. That's pretty good. So again, Sebastian coming to the football team as a backup role, Joseph day to add you some depth. You need some help at this point next to big Jeff. You just do. They don't have the help right now. They got Landry coming off that ACL. Uh, he's got extended time now, right? Because last year was the year he's coming off that. But most importantly, when we look at him, again, we have 99 votes. So you could be the 100th vote. That'd be cool. 
Yes, make him the highest paid 41%. No, stand firm. Add uh, Tredavious White, or should he draft the corner? And right now, you're like I said, you say make it happen. Now, they're 26 that say no way. So today's primary day in Illinois, baby. So it's voting day in Illinois. Election day. But uh, when we look at this poll question, election day, we still have 99 votes out. But what we got is 26% of you, roughly, if we just add up the, the, the yeses and the noes, about half are saying absolutely not. You do not want Sneed. And I think that is definitely worth note. Okay? Uh, moving on. So let, let's get into some of the juicy stuff real quick. Let's start with Derek Henry, okay, before we get to Sneed. Because that's kind of like the main appetizer, right? So I can't just give you everything. Uh, right now we got 100. We just broke the 100 mark. Shout out to all of you. Let's go. Let's go. Again, you help us out so much. Share this thing out. Show your support. I'm showing my support to you by going late for you and um, bringing you the best overall thing I can. Presentation-wise, putting the extra work in the war room here, uh, grinding them out just like we used to do back in the day, man. This was the guy that would stay up till 3 or 4 in the morning. Shh, don't tell anybody that. And he'd be producing content because I'm a perfectionist. If it's not, if it doesn't look great, then it's getting recycled and I'm starting over, baby. And a lot of times, you know, like upload sometimes loses his voice. So he gets too excited. He's got to, he's got to keep it down a little bit. So again, that's me. That is me. So I'm, I'm the one thing I'm excited about before getting knocked down a little bit. Right. I would say this. Okay. I would say this. I am so pumped. I know one of you came at me and you're like, Hey, you didn't produce content. You weren't around. I unsubscribed to you. And that's fine. That's your opinion. But they're like, you got me back. You got my vote back. And I appreciate that because I've missed all of you guys. This, this is fun for me. This is, this is what I do. I'm not playing Madden anymore. I'm not playing video games. Okay. I'm not shining my helmet collection, which I need to get some new updated ones, by the way. I am here talking Titans. And honestly, I get it. We weren't very good last year, but I'm looking at what's to come and some news I got today. I'm somewhat excited. So let's go back to Derrick Henry. So Derrick Henry's on the Adam Schefter podcast, and he's talking about the trade. So apparently Derrick Henry, he gave this on Boston with the boys, although they couldn't say it officially, but Derrick went out and said, like, listen, today he confirmed it. Ravens were going to trade for Derrick. Somebody put a kibosh to it. Now, the local media, like Paul Kaharski and them, I mean, this isn't a knock on them. Shout out to them. But they batted it down right away. This this beat writer or whatever from Baltimore said it was all but done, but Amy came in and squashed it. But what you're starting to kind of hear throughout the podcast is it more like, and this goes back to Florio's report earlier in November when he talked about how Vrabel was the one. And again, it's all in fun. You know, I dress up, I role play. I did a skit. I'm, I'm doing skits, by the way. I haven't done one in a while, but again, the Andre Diller one was in the works and we'll get to that at some point. But when we do in the skits, it was Rand versus Vrabel. And that, and that's what it was not supposed to be. Remember they were supposed to work together. And that's part of the reason why Rand got the job. According to Amy, she was excited about them working together, but we know Vrabel a lot of times, you know, Vrabel on the outside looks like Vrabel's way or the highway, right? So, and basically how he treats the media. So Vrabel apparently from Florio said, Hey, squashed it, squashed any trade with Henry, any trade with D hop. So Jared Stillman's bringing this up today and Jared actually will give him credit. makes a great point. And I wanted to ask you this. And I know it's not the seed sneed thing, and we're going to get to that. I promise you that, okay? But Jared Jared brought up a great point, so I want to ask you in the chat, and we'll get to your comments. Was it a blessing that Derek never got traded? Was it a blessing that D-Hop never got traded? Because hear me out on this. What if D-Hop gets traded and Henry, and you're playing the Tennessee Tides, which have a terrible offensive line, now everything's going to go through Tajay Spears, everything. You have no wide receivers to throw to. I mean, Nick Westbrook, Akina, 28 receptions. Chris Moore, 22. Kyle Phillips, 15. Our guy we just talked about, Traylon Burke, 16. Like, these guys were not creating separation to be a person of interest down the field. 
to throw the ball to. Chris Moore, I'll give him a pass because he did come up big from time to time. Chris, I make one big play more. I gave him that nickname, okay? By the way, watch parties. Those are a lot of fun. Can't wait to do those again. But I, but, I'm, but the point I think Jared was making, and when you go back and connect the dots, was it better that we didn't ha- that we kept those guys? Would we know what we know about Will Levis right now? Or would we go back in the day, back in the day, back in the day? Remember Zach Mettenberger? I actually thought Zach Mettenberger could play. I did not want to draft Mariota. When the Eagles came in and want to give us the farm and Fletcher Cox, I'm like, oh, my gosh, let's do it, right? Let, let's do this trade. We got Mettenberger. We'll give him an offensive line. We'll give him some weapons. He's got an arm. He's got a little comedy to him, a little flair. He seems like a fan favorite with the mustache and him going against J.J. Watts. And what happened? You're right. Mettenberger, 0-10. Not going to work. Ended up drafting Mariota. And ultimately, it did get us to a playoff game against the Chiefs, a win. Got us to the second round against the uh, Patriots. Two touchdowns from Corey Davis. But ultimately, that's that's where it got us. And I think with Levis and the point Derek was making, like, if it didn't happen, I mean, he's saying basically, look, I was hearing all the rumors. My agent was hearing the rumors. It seemed like it was going to go down and I was getting going to get final word or whatever. And then all of a sudden it was squashed and it was done and he was still on the team. Well, for us, Jared makes a great point. I agree. I don't always agree with Jared. Keeping those two guys around allowed us to see the potential in Will Levis and not get Tajay Spears killed by playing all the snaps. And again, the Titans obviously know because they went out and got Pollard to go with Tajay Spears. And I don't think that's a knock at all. So if Rand wanted to make that deal for draft picks and it wasn't for Vrabel squashing it, maybe things are a little bit different. I don't know, but that was an interesting point. But Derek seems happy. Good for Derek because Derek deserves an opportunity. He's not talking trash to the Titans. He's not talking trash to you. He's not talking trash to me. Derek loves us, but let's just be, let's be real. Okay. Derek had an opportunity to go somewhere else and the Titans wanted to get younger. I don't blame either side. I'll just miss the heck out of Derek and I will be following him for sure. All right, Sin City Titan, Burke still has upside. Imagine him on the Chiefs. Uh, Adam Weber, what's up? Ridley, Hopkins, Burks, Chase, and Higgins, Boyd. Don't give up on Burks just, Burks just yet. Good point, man. I, I appreciate that. Colts all day. Says, please, man, I already thought we were getting him. According to Derek um, from Bring the Juice, I, I mean, it didn't seem like Schefter, Schefter was kind of, he's saying, I thought Schefter was out of the loop with some of his reporting. It kind of gets dicey, but I think it makes sense. And I, and I hope at least you hear me out what I have to say. Dylan, did we get Trey? He's coming in for a visit. We're going to get to him next, by the way. Uh, get White. He's better. Uh, Sneed is elite, though, says Dylan. Jared says Burks. Trade rumors are number picks, seven pick smoke. Um, anybody who, uh, want who anybody who get white has a steal student of the game. Joe says Fulton probably going to the chargers. I know he was having a visit there. Buck had dinner with the Fulton family is now biased. Awesome. Luke T town Brown. What's up, buddy? It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. He says, I don't know. I think I'd take a Dory over Fulton at this point. I agree. K more sports. Got to get him on. Maybe we can get him on this Sunday after his show, but he says, go Cougars. Go. As long as they're not playing right this this Sunday, uh, Lone Star Titan Texas misses you. Come home, oh uh, man, we were thinking about moving to Texas. Believe it or not, at one point, Adam says Isaiah Wilson, Caleb Farley, or Boss Burks isn't there yet. I would agree with you. Billy says I know zero about college basketball. There's perfect reason to join because if you win, you can mock all of us who know a little bit. Titan Rossi, what's up, buddy? Good to see us. It's Titan up, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Phil says, why does a free agent, why would you give up a draft pick for Snead? I'll explain that in a minute. The real TJ. What's going on, buddy? Appreciate you. Uh, Bakes says, stop waffling. Uh, Beal says, Titan family. Madden is the only game I still play. College football, I'll be playing here soon. 
comes out. Uh, Nomadic says, good to see you. NFL draft in April. Interesting times for the AFC South. Steve, thanks, buddy, for being a member. Hearing uh, Simmons had something to do with him being let go. Um, what else we got? Oh, you're talking about tarts. Gus says, there's no point in revisiting Henry or Hopkins. Would have been traded. Vrabel at that time had a lot to say on personnel moves. You're right. Carthon's role was different. But apparently, Carthon wanted to trade him. That's my point. That was Jared's point. I, I, it is what it is. I mean, you, you try to get something, you're not getting anything for Henry. But but I guess Jared's point was you did get something from Henry. You gave Will Levis a fighting chance. And there were some games. Miami, Pittsburgh, obviously the Falcons, one of the Houston games. Am I missing another solid game that Levis, I mean, he had a pretty decent game. He gave us a chance to win. Uh, Case says, Henry, let's go. Upload, what if the Titans draft Brock Bowers? That's come up a couple times tonight. I, again, I'm all for surprises, but I think you should solidify that left end. Like I said last show, you need a left tackle. All right, so let's keep the show going. Let me switch gears here and get it on the story feed. There it goes. So story feed, Sebastian, we talked about him. So now to the next one. I think you guys were talking about it. Tredavious White. Now. Tredavious White, to be honest with you, was someone I did not think we could get. So I did not do a whole lot of homework on Tredavious White. Because what I remember from Tredavious White in 2019 was he was very, very good. You know, when you do like watch parties and you put some effort into it as far as like studying the opponent. Um, I remember when I used to do those preview videos that took a lot of time to edit, but they were so much fun to do. And I will be bringing those back this year. I got to be, I mean, I got all the camera equipment. I got to do it. Right. I got the software. I got the, um, the editing stuff. I know AI's put a little wrench into that for, for some, but for me personally, like I, I really enjoyed making those preview videos. So I kind of missed those. They do take a lot of time, but anyways, with Tredavious white, what's interesting about him is like studying when we were playing the Bills back during those years with the with the sickness and some of those other things. Like he was super super solid. Like he, uh, there was a reason why he's a former All Pro, right? I mean that that's that's real life stuff. But just because he's a former All Pro doesn't necessarily mean that he's still an All Pro. You know, I used to be able to touch the rim. I used to be able to tighten up load, man. Former. Touches the rim guy, and he's only like 5'10", and he's out of shape, and he has no vertical, and he, and he found a way to put those strength shoes on and run around and get some big calves, and then all of a sudden touch the rim, and he was so excited, but he couldn't do anything more. He couldn't dunk. He couldn't even come close to dunking besides one of those little tight coops. That was uploaded as a, as a child, okay? It is what it is. I'm not afraid to, to say it, right? Now I'm bald, and it is what it is. But back in the day, I could. And I think when we talk about Tredavious White, a lot of us are under the impression that he's still an all-pro. He's still the man. He's still locked down. He's still going to be a number one corner, even, even better than uh, Awuzie. But the numbers don't necessarily lie for him. Again, passer rating, thrown 80.6, not terrible. Okay, Yards per reception, really, really good. Way better than any free free agent, including Fuller, at six point seven. I think Awuzie is like a twelve point three, so that's pretty solid. Okay, I'm interested. Overall grade sixty eight. All right, whatever. Here's the problem when it comes to Snead. Okay, here's the problem, or not Snead. I'm sorry. Here the white. Here's the problem. The guy is just not reliable anymore. Last year it was the Achilles. How is that? I don't know. The Rams will get first look at it. And the year before that was the ACL. I mean, that's devastating. ACL one year, missed a year, come back the next year, AC, or, uh, Achilles, and then you missed another year, okay? So we're talking about total snaps. So last year, 162 total snaps, or 82. The year before, 2022, 307 total snaps. 2021, 630 total snaps. I'm not going back to 2020, or I'm not going back to the year he's really good, or his rookie year in 2017 when he had an 88.5 overall grade and had 1,000 snaps. Oh, and by the way, 
in his entire career since being drafted in 2017. He's had one season, one, count them, one, whoa, one, there it is, there it is, one, where he had a 1,000 snaps. Guys, if we learn anything about the Titans last year, the one thing we learned about is we don't want to bring in injured players. I get it. Sounds great. Former All-Pro, let's go. But again, you're spending money. You're putting these guys in position. It's not like this guy's super young anymore. I get it. One-year deal, you want to pay him a certain amount of money that's not going to cost you that much? Fine. Bring him in. Add him to the squad. Put him somewhere. We'll be fine. But the bottom line is, this guy, you got productivity. I mean, Christian Fulton will probably give you more snaps than this guy. I don't know if they're going to be good snaps, but that's my point. You bring him in, you pay him money, you make him the number one corner, you don't draft anybody, you don't make the Sneed trade, and you're out there and you're like, hey, him and Awuzie McCreary, let's go. Week three, bam, he's hurt, and now we're right back to where we are. Hey, everybody, let's go. Who are we bringing in? I'll go to the main screen for this one. Trey Avery, let's go, man. 300 snaps and six touchdowns later, which is true, 100% true. Oh, my gosh. So, so that's the thing I don't want to do. So I, let's get to your chat. Let's see what you guys, is it confirmed that we have Sneed yet? No, it's not confirmed at all. But there is some nuggets in here. Josh says, low risk, high reward. If you can get him on a decent year. I agree with Josh. I may not have a total faith in, in him, but if you can get him on the low end and he comes in and outperforms what you got, he could be a solid guy, especially like draft Kool-Aid at 38. I mean, all of a sudden, your secondary, you got to get, maybe you get Simmons, Justin Simmons, maybe, you know, maybe you plug somebody else in there that's decent. Imani Hooker stays healthy. I mean, you're going, but man, if you got Hooker who can't stay healthy, you you got a Wouzie who's getting older, and now you bring in this guy, um, you know, White, and he gets hurt after week three, week four. It's going to be tough. I mean, right now, we can't stop anybody in the run. I know, like, a lot of people aren't telling you this, and that's fine. They, they can live on their cloud and have a kumbaya and enjoy life right now because it's everybody thinks they're a winner at this point. But the bottom line is our middle linebacker core is weak, guys. It's weak. And if we got no help next to Big Jeff, I don't know if this Sebastian guy is it. And then let's say we don't draft anybody and we just plug and play some random dude or, or, not, or our typical thing we like to do on drafted free agent, throw him in there, hope it works out. Sometimes it does. I'm just saying, you can't stop the run. Honestly, I don't know if it's even going to work. Worth. I mean, we have a top secondary in the league, but he can't stop the run. Ain't going to work. Uh, top dog, we already talked about that. Let's keep going with some more of your comments. Logan, I believe that the new um, running back lineup will be per. I, I'm intrigued. D, what's going on? Thanks so much. He fumbled in Miami. It was all Levis. I'm not sure what that is, Mr. Producer. A uh, student of the game, he was top pro ball leader before getting hurt but he's been hurt multiple years. And again, the stat I'm giving you is he can't stay on the field. One year out of his career since 2017, he's had over a thousand snaps. You need him to play more than that. Just like you guys need to hit those three dots, boom, 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 and hit that like button and help us out. We're at 44 likes, 44 likes. We got uh, 121 of you in the room. So again, appreciate it. We still got a long way to go. We're only about a half hour in the show, 38 minutes to be exact. And we have one comment pinned already. Anybody else we can get to? I believe we're pretty good. We got JTGA's vlogs. Says, do you really like the Titans? Can I get a shout out? You can get both. Yes. And yes. Tighten up to JT. Steppen Park says, tighten up. Leave Steve Sneed alone, in my opinion. Great. Back to the poll question. Why not? Poll question. Let's move me out of the way. Boom. Poll question. Right now, we are at 150 votes. That's good because I think we average about 200, so we're almost there. It says, yes, what do you want Rand to do with Snead? Yes, all in, make him the highest paid. Give him what he wants. Give him the keys. Let him go out and drive the new Ferrari around. It's his, just as long as he plays for the Titans. Option two, no. Just stand pat. Stand firm. If he really wants to play for y'all, he'll make it happen. But. You stand firm on your offer, and if your offer was, which we'll talk about here next, um, then fine. But if not, if you're not, you're not, you don't, you're not interested in going any higher. Okay, and I think you get a lot of respect for that too. Although you don't want to miss out by like 
if you've done eBay before, I think we bring up eBay every show. Maybe they should uh, promote the channel. I don't know. But you guys know, if you've ever been in a bidding war to lose by like one stinking dollar, it's awful. It's one of the worst feelings ever to lose by one stinking dollar. Just throwing that out there to you. Um, add white is the third option. And then final option, draft a corner. And right now with uh, 152 voting, you can find that in the comments. 39% of you are only saying, let's bring in Snead. 39%. Give him what he wants. 26, now 20%. St- standing firm. Standing firm. 21% say, hey, just add white. And then finally, 14% are saying, hey, the draft a guy like Kool-Aid or somebody else. Let's get to the point of the show and let's have some fun. So we've got all the groundwork. We've talked about Derrick Henry. We've talked about Sebastian, the new defensive tackle. We've talked about Chase Young signing with the Saints. We've talked about Tredavious White possibly coming to the Titans, at least coming for a visit after he finishes up his visit with the Rams. And then the Giants are the one he's most connected to with coaching. So there are a lot of outsiders that think White will end up going from Buffalo to New York, which makes sense geographically, plus with the coaching staff. So even if you really wanted White, the Giants seem to be in great position. If we let him out the door, the Giants should be able to capitalize and bring him in. All right. Let's get to comments before we get to the main appetizer, the main events. Official says, fellow Titan fans, do we really need Sneed? Question mark. We got Red Tiger 10. Urgh. Red Tiger 10. He says, Seahawks for life. Let's go. Again, I'm a Titans guy. Uh, fall is for football, but fall is also for, hey, it's the NFL. So if you're a fan of any team, you're always welcome here. Even if you're a fan of nobody, it doesn't matter, I guess. You're still welcome here. So tighten up to you. Uh, EWO, as of now, I kind of need Sneed. Mr. Producer in the house has different GMs. We can't change the past, I think is what he meant, but we can change the future. Tighten up to Mr. Producer. Wrong room, Red Tiger. (laughs) We the people, says, uh, very few quality free agents want to come to Tennessee, so what do you got to do, we the people? You got to ching, 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 right? Pay him up. Uh, Billy says, Rand said he was going to be patient and not break the bank early. He already spent some on uh, the Ridley and Cushion Bear. You're right. And then Josh said, Sneed had a bad knee, but everyone wants to give a pick and a high contract. Sneed worries me. We're going to get to that. So let's talk about who this guy is before we get into anything else. Let's just bring in the groundwork. Okay. Let's just bring in the groundwork. Let's uh, get you over here. Make sure I got all my stuff going on. I got an interesting Netflix thing I wanted to talk to you guys too about to kind of break up the Sneed talk, but I feel like we're going to be talking about Sneed for a while. So I do have something to kind of fill. So Sneed obviously still alive after today. I thought it was done and over with. I never really thought we were interested. Teron Teron Davenport has come out. I'm going to share with what he said. I'm actually write that down because a lot of times I'll do is uh, I'll tell you all these things and then I, I go back and listen to my show because it's what we do, man. I mean, if you don't go back and listen to your own work, how can you get any better? That's my point. If you never take the time to invest in what you already did to find out what you did wrong so you can fix it next time, I don't know. So maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm done, but I do listen. I, I mean, I have a 40-minute, 45-minute job. Uh, Uh, drive to work and then 45 minutes to drive back. So again, I got plenty of time and uh, there are a lot of things I noticed that I'll go off on a rampage talking about, and then I forget my overall point, but we will huddle up at some point tonight too. That's kind of a tradition in this, on this channel. We, we love to huddle up and and talk about whatever. So let's talk about who we actually are wanting. Again, I think when, when someone becomes available, I think it's fair to say this. I could be wrong. Titans glide. We'll get to you in a minute. But I think I'm fair to say this. Sometimes we want the name more than we want the player. If you ever get yourself in a, in a, in a bind, in a difficult situation, okay, with your love life, you know, one of the things I'll, I'll, I'll say to you is for those of you that are young pups, 
right? And you're, and you're getting into the dating game. You're getting a little advice here. One of the things you'll realize is you might kind of fall for someone and, and things might be working out. And at some point, you have to ask the question. You have to ask the question as the relationship stays alive, but it's almost on fumes. You have to ask the question is, do you love me or do you love the idea of me? And my transition, which is a solid point. I should get a shout out for that. I'm going to get my shout out for that. That's good. That's a good analogy. I'll blow. That's great. That's what you get on this channel. And uh, Leon, thanks for the super chat, buddy. We'll get to you next. But the point I'm trying to make when we hear guys like Sneed that become available, I think we did it with T. Higgins. We do it with Clowney. We did it with Julio Jones. We do it with anybody that's a high-profile free agent or a possible free agent or a trade candidate. It's like, oh, my gosh, we got to have them. And you're like, hey, what do you know about Snead? Do you, is he good? I mean, how would he fit with the Titans? Well, I don't know, but he won a Super Bowl with Kansas City. He's got to be pretty good. He's asking for a lot of money. They franchise tag the man. They, they gotta, he's got to be decent. Well, I'll come back to you and say, okay, if he's that good, you franchise tag him, then why is, what's the, the hype with trading him for? You got him under the franchise tag. Why do you want to trade him? Just like Cincinnati floating out T. Higgins. Think they want to trade him? Or they want to sign him? I don't know. But we're going to answer those questions tonight. First thing we got to talk about is who is Snead, right? Who is he? So last year... Pro football focus, 71.1 overall score. That's fine. Whatever. Won a Super Bowl. He seemed to be paired up against a lot of top wide receivers in the league. Um, As far as interception goes, he had two. Passer rating allowed. This is great. This is one of the best. Stats don't lie in this case. When quarterbacks threw his way, their passer rating was 55. Guys, that is way better than any free agent possible that we could have signed including Fuller. Now we went with the woozy. That's fine from Cincinnati. Callahan knows him, but the bottom line is nobody's this good yards per reception under 10. That is solid. He did have 11 missed tackles by the way. Okay. Um, when you look at his total snaps, okay. Coverage snaps, pass snaps, run defensive snaps. He's got a lot of snaps. Um, overall sneak. Okay, was it a one-year wonder? 6'1", 192 from Louisiana Tech. Draft year 2020. His worst game last year was opening night, Thursday night football against the Lions. He was a 49.6, and they lost. His best game, he went back-to-back. Buffalo, 91, and at New England. Finished the year a 55 at Vegas and a 67 in regular season against the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, As far as the overall snaps, 989 last year. The year before that, 1,106, then 918. The guy is young. I don't see uh, very much, according to the stats, you know how blue is really good in pro football focus. If if Maybe some of you don't know that, it's fine. And again, pro football focus isn't the all be all. But like I said, I'm not going back. I don't have a lot of Kansas City Chiefs fans in the house, I don't think. If you are one, you got to let me know. Because you'll know him more about him than we would. But when I look at all these stats, I see a, a lot of yellow and I see some green, which tells me he's he's decent. He's decent. And there are some things that I really like about him, and there are some things that really pop about him. But grade-wise, one of the things to think about, too, when you're good, people do not throw your way. So that might have something to do with it as well. But that's just a little bit of a nutshell on Sneed. Passer rating against him, 55. That is phenomenal. That that is that is great. That is like lockdown ish. That's 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 amazing. So you're gonna have to pay the guy for that. Physical corner at six one can be very aggressive. I saw him throw a uh, Tyree kill to the ground and some. Like this guy is a go getter. This guy will definitely bring it if he's motivated. Right. I don't know him a whole lot, but I'll tell you right now, when he is motivated, he looks the part. Let me get to some more of your comments here. I think we had a super chat from Leon. Shout out to Leon. Let's give him some love on the channel. Shout out to Leon. Because we're over 50 likes. So appreciate you on there. There are three like buttons. Boom, boom, boom. There are three dots upper right-hand corner, and then the like button emerges. Shout out to YouTube for making it so difficult. But what they did was 
shockingly enough, with YouTube Shorts Live, they made the subscribe button so easy to find. It's up in the right-hand corner, and it's red. It's blurting right at you like, push me. Dare you. Just push me. Some of you will. Some of you won't. But for the ones that do, thank you. Appreciate it. Back to the super chat from Leon. He says, I tend to think, he says, I tend to think hold fast. If 80 and four, four years, 80 million isn't enough, then I'm out or I'm not sure his heart is for playing. So he says he's, then I'm not sure his heart isn't for playing for the Titans anyways, but I would love to get him. Will be interesting to see how it unfolds. Leon, thanks so much for always supporting the channel. Number one, being a member. Number two, you super chat way too much, but we appreciate you. And number three, your comments. Appreciate you tuning in as well. Beal says, so what do you all use that money you get paid for to fix? Does that wait? I'm sorry. So what are y'all going to use that money? He get paid with the fix does bad news. Uh, Joshua, sometimes it's just luck. Spears blew out his knee and and was fine. Uh, Sneed was hurt every game, but still played. So we'll see what happens. It's a good point. Um, Roger Saffold got hurt every game and he bounced back. So that was a good thing when he was with the Titans. Luke says we have 50 million still. So in between uh, 52 and 48, I think is the last time we checked and you have to save some of that for draft picks, but I get your point. Give yourself a two year out and see what happens. Sneed isn't overrated during playoff run. He was unbelievable. I'd go out and get him. And then there's that extra element. Thank you. EWO that playoff element, which Brady definitely had. Uh, can you find the best receiver he played against? We'll try to find that out. Uh, I mean, going through the list, obviously he's playing, you know, the, the guys, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, who just signed with the Jets. I think he signed one year, 15 million, if I'm not mistaken. So he's playing those guys twice a year. Um, Tyree Kill was a big one. I mean, he threw him to the ground. Help us get to 100 likes tonight, everyone. Really appreciate it. That would be amazing. Rossi's on to something. 100 likes. Are we even an hour in? No, we're only 50 minutes in, and we already got 53 likes. I'll take that. Pizza roll. I think y'all need Trey White. Please let me know why. Davis, I ain't pushing it. Davis, I appreciate your honesty, and I would love to talk hockey with you someday. So I'm a Blackhawks fan. Go Chicago. We've been awful, but, man, we had ourselves a run. I'll tell you what, Jonathan Taves, Patrick Kane, Oh, it was fun, and now it's over, and we get beat by Nashville every year. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, Titans glide. Trey White is one of the best. One of the Trey White is the one with injury issues. Stoner Titan says, if you give the Titans all their picks for Sneed, would you be mad? Ah, uh, yes. I've always come out on the record. You can go back on our community page and see my thoughts on Sneed. I am saying out, and I didn't really buy a lot of it. And again, I wrote down my notes. Davenport which he's always on with Rossi. Shout out to him. We love Davenport on this channel. Teron Davenport, who works for ESPN. But, man, I'm telling you, I wouldn't invest on draft picks. So I was kind of intrigued with the offer. And King comes in and says, hey, you suck. Thank you, King Palmer. I appreciate you, buddy. And then Titans Rossi says, see walk. And then for the uh, a -B -A -G -B -O tighten up, and there we go, Over Chicken. Shout out to Over Chicken. Appreciate you, buddy. You're always welcome on this channel, Over Chicken. We love you, man. He says, I want Sneed. I do. There's no way he's worth 22 million. So let's talk about Sneed, shall we? So these are kind of the reports that came out. So this is the one we kind of opened up with uh, throughout the day. Shout out to Power Hour for sending us these. So according to radio, uh, I believe he, the radio guy, I, I, I'm trying to think. I think I wrote it down. Where do we got here? Radio guy out of Kansas City. It was a nice show, by the way. It sounded great. Wish my mic could sound that well. Oh, man. It was, I got a lot of the It was called The Drive. Okay. And shout out to Titan Size, too. If you're looking for a nice little synopsis of what happened, go type in Sneed to Titans, Titan Size, and they got a nice, nice little you know, with bullet points and they'll guide you right through it. They even give you the link to go listen to it if you want yourself. So shout out again to Titan size. Uh, so, so per Kansas city radio, the Titans offered a 2025 third round pick, supposedly four years, $80 million. According to the radio, according to these notes that I have, the Kansas city chiefs, what a sign sealed deliver. It was done. It was Snead who turned it down. Just keep that in mind. 
Okay. Keep that in mind. So again, according to this report, um, the Titans supposedly were the ones who offered four years, 80 million. Now there's more teams involved than just the Titans. I know the Colts have come out, whether how much the Colts were really into it. Some believe the Colts were the front runners. Haven't got that officially. So right now, according to this segment on the Kansas City radio, they bring in this guy, Matt Verderami or whatever his name, NFL writer, according to this is based off of. And a lot of the teams that were mentioned, the most team that was mentioned throughout this report was the Titans. The Titans come up multiple, multiple, multiple times. Okay. So that's one element. Uh, they, and this guy says, I've been on the record for Tennessee could offer a third round pick at 2025 and possibly, possibly recoup the pick in the NFL draft by trading back to number seven. So that would be a possibility option as well. Remember the Tennessee Titans do not have a third round pick this year. Next year we do. So here's where I'm coming in. Okay. Let me get my T here. There he is. Joe put him on there. Joe put him on there. Thank you, Joe. This is where I come in. So I see that I'm out on Steam. 100% out. Done. I don't, I don't, I'm tired of the talk. Let's build the team, Ryan. Let, let's, let's worry about the team. Draft me some Kool-Aid. I get this report. I'm thinking, you know, you're going to have to give up a, a number one first round pick. I'm definitely not doing that at seven. I wouldn't do it 38 either. Some of you are like, yeah, do 30. I, I'm, I, I'm not doing 38. Okay. But man, would I do a fourth round pick? I probably would. Would I do a third round pick next year? Heck yeah, I would. Sign me up. Like the, the article said, yeah, we can recoup that somewhere. I'm all for it. Remember, this is the team who traded a fourth round pick for Ryan Tannehill. And this kind of gets into our whole thing again with the perception of picks. You don't know. Isaiah Wilson is a prime example. Caleb Farley is another one. Jeffrey Simmons is my last one. Those are three guys who are drafted in the first round. And Isaiah Wilson probably had the least amount of stuff on him. Maybe it was the sickness year. You know, they weren't able to do visits like you normally would. But you got to realize that, you know, John Robinson would do his homework. Vrabel is also involved in this. He doesn't get a pass either, although the media likes to give him a pass on that. But what I've heard is John Robinson and Vrabel were locked in on Isaiah Wilson for right tackle. I was out. Draft underscore Brian brought that to our uh, draft eve party because he always picks who he thinks the Titans are going to pick, and he got it right. He was one for one. Now, he's missed the last two. Okay, but hopefully he'll come on again for this draft eve. But when you're looking at Isaiah Wilson's one, and then we move on, I, I mentioned Jeffrey Simmons and Caleb Farley. Caleb Farley and Simmons were two guys you took a risk on. Simmons had all that stuff. He had the ACL, top five talent, and then all that stuff with the video when he was 18 years old. Okay, He had all that working against him, and that's probably why he fell. That was the year the Titans were at home, by the way, during the draft, and there was a lot of lock rumors that the Titans wanted lock, and we're going to draft him in that spot. Then you move on to a different year in Caleb Farley. Same situation, minus the video stuff. Caleb was hurt. It was with the back. And there was a lot of teams, top 10 talent, but a lot of teams shying away because they didn't want to deal with the back. And it makes sense. I mean, we're realizing that now. Here's my point. All three scenarios could have went different ways. Isaiah Wilson could have actually worked out, right? Um, Jeffrey Simmons could have been a total bust. And Caleb Farley could have easily worked out. So my point is draft picks, you just never know. Even with quarterbacks, did you guys go back to the 2021 draft? Oh, my goodness. I don't think there's one uh, Malik Willis in the third round. But some of these other guys, oh, my God, they're, they're terrible. They're either traded or they're on a different team. They're not starting anymore. I mean, that class seems to be abysmal when it talk about uh, quarterbacks. So I don't think you ever really know until they actually produce. LeBron James, yes, you knew LeBron was going to be good, and he was. He's delivered. He's not better than Jordan, but you knew when you took LeBron number one in Cleveland that year, LeBron was like, oh, my gosh, everybody knew it. There comes that point in football as well with some of these guys, but but it's not always a lock, and it's not always guaranteed. So when people are, like, roasting people for, for like, 
oh, you can't give up a six-round draft pick. I mean, really, the Steelers gave up a six for Fields. So, like, a sixth-round pick. I mean, we drafted Luke freaking Folk, I want to say, in the sixth round. And we ended up trading him the week of the game debut. Amy said we had this brand-new offense. She couldn't wait to see it. And we traded the third-string quarterback to the team we were playing in week one to give them a week notice of inside of our new offense. Yeah, we did that. We did that. Um, just to throw that out there to you. So, all Titans creators do that. What is this? I, I, I'm not sure. What, what does that mean? The last 10 minutes, you guys have been begging if someone likes your content, then they will. What are, see, walk, you just walk to town. That's cool. That's all I got for you. Walk to town. Because, honestly, if you come to my house, see how much time and effort I put into this thing, I think those comments would go out the roof. And by the way, very easy with AI to go through videos nowadays and go ahead and see how many times they tell you to hit the subscribe button and how many times they hit the like button. And I can pretty sure with confidence that I am one of the guys who probably don't say it enough. So if you want to bring that to me, that's great. You're still welcome here. But if you're going to take shots at me, man, you got to back them up with proof. So do your research first, then come back and comment again. Bottom line, we're moving on. So let's talk about this so-called thing. So that that's one thing. Then we have this that breaks. Tennessee Titans and Sneed have talked over the past 24 hours. Wouldn't call that possibility dead yet. So let, let's really zone in and think about this for a minute. And then we'll get to some of your comments. Titan South, I see you, buddy. What's up? So there's a couple things of note here. So this guy, going back to this interview with this guy, um, not the interview, but the guy on the radio, I uh, used to work at Mad Dog. That's all I can tell you. I, I cannot think of it. Hamilton? I, I can't think of the guy's name. Sounds really good, though, audio-wise. Sounds great. His hearing or, or, or saying, like, this guy's got some bad knees. He's got some bad knees. So you going out and investing all this money, I mean, just realize you, you're, you're getting a guy that really has some bad knees. And I don't think people want a guy to come into their team with bad knees. Just throwing it out there, too. It's, it's just not good for football. It's not good for a cornerback. I mean, alignment sometimes, all right, you put on the brace here. You put on a big brace here. They're walking out there. They're going. That's fine. Linemen, they're tough guys, right? They play with no fingers, all that stuff. But when you're talking about cornerbacks, I know they act tough. Because they don't want to wear uh, pads in their thighs or knee pads. But let me tell you, cornerbacks, they sometimes get trucked. I mean, just Derrick Henry, Buffalo Bill, should I say any more? But here's a couple things to think about. If Kansas City, which is going to be paying him 19 something million for the franchise tag, do you think he's important in Kansas City's defense? Could you all answer me on that one? Again, the poll question right now. Poll question. We did hit 100, 200. That's awesome. That, that's that's great. That makes my day, right? So shout out to Seawalk. How many times have I mentioned the poll question there? Uh, do you do you want Ran to go all in for Sneed? 35% say yes. Make him the highest paid ever cornerback or whatever. No, stand firm. You know, hey, this is your thing. You said no to the kids. You said no ice cream. Or you said, hey, Sleep time is nine o'clock. We're not doing nine oh one or nine oh five. It's we're being solid. We don't want to get run on for the next free agency stuff going on. We are standing pat, standing firm. That's twenty nine percent. It's really close. Um, add Tre'Davious White instead. Hey, there's another option. Let's just add Tre'Davious White. Let's just stay up till nine oh five tomorrow night. Can we work on that one? It's a good deal. And then draft the corners low, fifteen percent. I thought that'd actually be higher because the more and more I'm looking at draft guys, the more and more I'm thinking, wow. Kool-Aid sounds really good at 38. I don't know if he's going to be there, but I'm telling you, that might be a, a solid approach to get younger at corner. You got a woozy with some experience. You got McCrary, obviously, with experience in the slot. Who knows? Or do you way overspend on this guy because he wants money? He wants a lot of money. Uh, King says, you, uh, hi, man, Lowell, never been to a Super Bowl or even uh, deep enough to be talking like that, man. You're all... Not the Cowboys, LOL. Hey, we were in the Super Bowl in 2000, man. Kinsey for Sneed straight up. Oh, now you're really trying to get me fired up. You're trying to get me really fired up. 
Oh, Seawalk, we know you, buddy. We know who you are. There's uh yeah, we know. We have an app, by the way, and we, we know exactly who you are. Totally made up, by the way. Totally made that up. He said he's staying firm at 22 million. Thought they wanted a second. EWO said just give them the 20, uh, give them the 22, spend the money. Uh, T-Town says 2025 third would have been sweet. I'm saying the same thing, man. The fact that they're bringing in white is troubling. I, I got something on that one though. Oh yes. Love it. Shrek. The Titans should draft JJ McCarthy from Michigan. That's a whole nother story. We'll save that for tomorrow or another day because that there is a lot of talk on him. I see in a mock today that he went four. There is no freaking way he's going to go four. I There's no freaking way that's ever going to happen. But that's where we're at. And that's why I get on some of you. Come in here and you spread this information. Oh, the Titans are taking a receiver at seven. I know. Well, how do you know? Because they said they were doing it in the combine, and they're darn right going to take a, a wide receiver at seven. No, they're not. They're spreading misinformation so you think they're going to take a wide receiver so they could sneak up and get their tackle. That's what they're doing. Anyways, moving on. Panda ran a 4-5 to the <laughs> house party. Titan Glide totally redeemed himself. That's awesome. Bell says, let's do some young speed out in, in the draft. Tighten up. David in the house. L, he's going to the Colts. David is saying that's official. Shout out to David. Chef says, if Sneed's knees as bad as people say, then Rand wouldn't even contemplate this. Obviously, they know more than we do. We just hit two, 200 people in the poll, Mr. Producer. Shout out to you, buddy. Coming through. Sneed's got wings. Y'all better pay hope or y'all get one in return. LOL. Oh, my goodness. Who else we got here? Let's keep going <laughs> uh, with the new NIL deals. Um, the college players are getting the, uh, getting uh, the later round pick all but worthless. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this Raiders roundup. Awesome. Raiders fans in here. Oh, my gosh. Arr. All positivity. Love it. Hey, positivity for you, too. <laughs> Rossi, man, just let it go. I'll, I'll text you later on who Seawalk is, buddy. All right, so let's move on. Beal says Titans family. Brother, don't uh, don't be a, a hater guy. It's okay. Oh, we, we can handle it. We're good, man. We've been doing this since 2019. We're, we're good, man. We got it. We got it. We got a master. You got a guy here. He's kind of got to deal with some stuff. Today, some some kid told me that uh, my, my hair looked awful. You know what? I mean, how do you tell a guy with no hair that his hair looks awful? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, is that supposed to make me feel bad? Whatever. I just laughed. Go Chiefs, buddy. Go Chiefs. He knows who I'm talking to. All right. So, again, the poll. Is it okay to mention the poll one more time? I mean, I, I didn't mention subscribe, but, but I can I mention the poll at least? That's important to me. Poll, we're at uh, 228 votes, 36-28 in favor of yes with Snead. So, let's get my take on this. Let, let's actually zone in while you're here, I, I would think, right? What's upload think about Snead in this whole thing? There's a couple things to think in mind when it comes to Snead, okay? The first thing we, we've educated on the channel, and you've educated me. That's why this created by fans for fans for a reason, right? We're all in the same. I mean, if, if some of you are like a player or like you're an agent or a former coach or, you know, you're in the media, I mean, whatever. You're, you can say that. That's fine. I, I, nothing. But majority of us are like me, Right. You, you love it, you, you breathe it, and you can't get enough of it when we're talking football. Like football season, like the draft is oh, just a blast for me. A free agency is always fun. A schedule release. Oh, my gosh. I love schedule re release. I, I don't know why I love it because I always know, like, Titans are going to get one of the fewest amounts of primetime games. Even when we're really good, we don't get that, like, a whole bunch of them. But uh, I, I'm still excited for it. And then I'm excited for training camp. I'm definitely excited for preseason games. Okay, we we take that seriously. We do watch parties for even preseason games. Every one of them, by the way. And then the season starts, week one. That's like Christmas here. All the games on, Sunday tickets. Uh, everybody thinks they can win. It's just a blast. I love it. So the point I'm trying to make is like, you guys in here, 
myself, like we we love this stuff. So again, if you come in, you're you're a fan of a different team. I don't care, man. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. If you're a Chiefs fan, let me know how good Sneed Sneed is. We just went over an hour, by the way, hour and nine minutes. Got 65 likes. Trying to get 100. If you see that sub button, hit that sub button for Seawalk. All right. Anyways, uh, so I know I'm terrible at comedy. I, I'm terrible at comedy. I'll tell you a joke in a little bit. I do have Teron Davenport marked down here. There's something I got on him. But l- let's let's break this down. So according to this art, like according to this guy who was on the drive, the notes, and again, Titan size, you want to go check them out. They definitely put some nice highlights together. From from this conversation that happened from this um interview or whatever, things that were shed uh, some light, Titans are definitely interested. I'm shocked on that. I didn't I thought it was all, hey, we'll just call them up, see if they want a seventh round pick. No, we don't want a seventh round pick, and then that's it. Have a great day and move on. Apparently, the Titans are one of the teams that are really invested in wanting to know more and, and wanting this to work out with Sneed. You guys mentioned the chat. Sneed is looking to be the highest paid. Highest paid corner, which is going to roughly run about $22 million a year. According to the report that I just shared on the Twitter thing, or X, Titans were roughly, if the Titan, if you believe this, we're only offering four years. A third round pick next year, which is fine. Chiefs apparently wanted it. They're, they're good with it. But they're putting it on Sneed. It's coming from somewhere. And that's where I'm going to go here next. So I'm foreshadowing a little bit. Um, the other thing, concern about the knee from this, the guy that was very hearing some stuff from the Chiefs, like very, very like laughing because of the knees. Like that teams would even be interested. Basically saying, dude, just take the money the Chiefs are offering you and just go with it. Like, don't think twice. You got bad knees. You're not sure how long those are going to work. Take your money and, and take the deal. I don't know what that deal is that Kansas City put on the table, but I'm assuming it's not as good as four years, $80 million. And then we got um, Titans were mentioned the most. I already talked about that. And again, the Chiefs, from what I've also heard, are okay with just letting it play out. You can just play on the franchise tag and we'll pay him $19 million. Now, not everybody believes the Chiefs are. They believe the Chiefs are honest with that. They're, some of them were saying they're fronting, they're not being serious. That no way they want to pay him the franchise deal. Just like there's a lot of people that believe the Cincinnati Bengals. There's no way they want to pay T. Higgins the franchise tag deal. They either want to get a cheaper deal done for him, sign him long term, or ship him out of town. And again, last time we were together, maybe it was the time before. You guys remember. There's a, there's a rumor out there that the Cincinnati Bengals offered two number one picks and T. Higgins for Jefferson, and Minnesota said, no, but you know what? Maybe we would do Joe Burrow straight up. I don't know if you're believing that, but I still laugh at that. I think it's it's kind of comical. So, Sneed, here's, here's what I think is happening, everybody. And, and you can leave a comment, and uh, you whether you agree or whether you not. Would I take Snead for a third rounder next year and taking him for the four year 80 million? Apparently, this came out before Ridley was signed, just to throw that one out there to you. I probably would. I don't know a lot about the knees, but if I was able to um, you know, do a medical and make sure that all lined up and my doctors were okay with it, which we don't know much about the new doctors, do we? Did we get all new doctors when Rand came in here? Did we get all new doctors when um like I said, when we hired Callahan, I mean, no one really mentioned that, but if you know that in the chat, let us know. So I would, I would be comfortable with what my doctors told me. And if they thought this wasn't that serious and it was more of a negotiation to, to get him at a lower deal by the chiefs. And that's why they th- threw it out there. I guess that's what they do in the NFL. That's what they do in professional sports, right? It's a business. So sometimes they try to treat it like a business, but for that deal, I would do it. So I don't know. You guys tell me, would you do that four years in the in the chat, four years for 80 million plus giving up a third round pick next year? Would you do it? I mean, I would sign him up. But Sneed's like, no. So apparently Sneed said no. He wants more. He wants that 22 million per season. He wants to be the highest paid corner. That's where I'm saying, well, I don't know if I can do that with the knee. But we are way overthinking. Way over. Do I think the Titans are, according to this report, do I think the Titans are still interested in Steed? Yes. If you offered four years, $80 million, 
you are and, and a third round pick. I know it's a third round pick. You you're interested. Now, from also from this poor, there, there's a couple things that could be going on. Number one, the Chiefs want it out there. When, whenever the Titans want stuff out there, this is where we really need to think. Now, we know Titans for Life knows this. I don't see him in the chat, but he kind of knows how it works. When teams want information out in the public, they will let it out to the public. There's a reason why it's getting out there. Rossini. Rossini is a prime example of this. And I know I mock that part in almost every skit that I come out with all three of them, but it, but it's true. Whenever Rossini reported anything from the Titans, most of that information, we're pretty confident it came from Vrabel. It came from Vrabel. If Vrabel wanted something out there, Rossini was her person to throw it out there. Now Rossini and Vrabel are button heads, which just proves my point all along when this whole fat thing came out, right? All of a sudden, Vrabel started getting real ticked off at Rossini. Well, why would he get ticked off at Rossini if Rossini keeps throwing out information and then all of a sudden she maybe throws out some information he doesn't like and then he gets mad? I mean, it just makes sense that maybe this is true. The other thing, during the middle of the year, and I trust me, this all revolves. During the middle of the year, what was reported by Rossini? Ah, oh, Rand Carthon. He makes all the decisions. <laughs> it was weird because the Titans just traded Bayard. They're on a downwheel spiral. They probably weren't going to be very good. And then all of a sudden, this report comes out of nowhere that Rand Carthon is now running the ship entirely by himself. Who the heck? Do you think Rand wanted to put that out there? Hey, the ship's sinking. I'm now running the ship. Here we go. No, that was Vrabel that put that out there. And Vrabel's camp. My goodness. So, again, the same thing happens in other teams. They throw stuff out there to try to get higher picks or to try to stir up the pot. Or in the Chiefs' case, maybe they're throwing a lot out there about the knees Maybe they're throwing a lot out there about, hey, if they'd be willing to sign, trade them for a third-round pick, it Sneed's the one that keeps saying no. If you're going to blame anybody why this trade doesn't happen, you're blaming Sneed, not us. We already said signed, sealed, and delivered, baby. It's he that's holding back. He's the one that won't go forward with the deal. And I think when you look at it from that point of view, maybe there is a lot of smoke being blown up from the Kansas City Chiefs. Maybe there's some truth to both stories, but maybe it's just Kansas City trying to maneuver their way to get a better deal with Snead. After all, did we not do this with Ryan Tannehill? Where do you think the freaking Tom Brady story came from? Do you think that was just all hyped up, like all perfectly spotted with, with Vrabel on his phone talking to Brady that one day when they were at the Syracuse game? Do you think that just, or, or I'm sorry, Brady was on the phone with Vrabel. I think Vrabel was on the Brady was at the Syracuse game, right? But he was talking like FaceTiming Vrabel. Do you think that just magically someone got whiffed of that and they were trying to keep that secret? Heck no, they weren't. And by the way, if you go back during that year, which is quite interesting because I know he's going to the Bucks. Now, a lot of people are saying, you don't know that play. You didn't, but trust me, I do have a connection to Brady. I have a connection to Brady. That's why I felt confident coming out in January, middle of January, and posting what I did. Now, I took a lot of heat for it. But I even put in the tweet, done deal. And when he makes his video, he says done deal. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, that that's not just like, hey, he's going to retire. Ha, ha, ha. Like actually saying something that he would have said. So, yeah. At some point, I might get brave enough and tell you who my source is. Then you'll really believe it. But um, totally true. So, I give you hints. This is what's crazy about it. I give you hints throughout those different shows. Now, you're not probably going to go back, and I need to clip it up to do my proof, right, receipts. But I'll be like, hey, it's not an AFC team, and I'm saying this right away, way, way, way before. When he just left New England, I'm saying right away, hey, it's not going to be an AFC team. But a lot of you came in here and were like, oh, I heard rumors it was going to be the Titans. But what I'm trying, I'm not trying to gloat and put myself on a pedestal. I'm just trying to tell you, Teams do this for a reason. The Titans were all along not going to sign Brady. They were not going to sign Brady. It was 
trying to get a deal done with Ryan Tannehill and try to get that at a good, fair value. Because Tannehill lit it up, even though he didn't light it up in the playoffs, but he was a winner. And he took the Titans from two and whatever they were, and then all of a sudden, they're in the AFC Championship game. Plus, they needed money to spend on Derrick Henry. John Robinson wasn't an idiot. So all I'm trying to tell you before I get to your chats here, this screams Kansas City Chiefs putting out this information to get someone to either A, come in and give a better, hey, we just want a third-round pick. That's all we want for this guy. You give a second-round pick, boom, we're going to work with you. Or is it, hey, he's got bad knees, he should just take, like, you know, the reporter saying he should just take the money just so they can get him for a discounted rate. I'll get to your comments in the chat and see what you all think. I don't know. It seemed like we got some comments here. Chiefs are winning the Super Bowl, random guy says. Just watch. There he is. Titans for life. Just poof. There he is. According to what I've been told, Sneed's knees problem is a meniscus, which is fixable, right? Titans for life, like it's not like an ACL, depending on how much the tear is. It may be something he needs to fix in the offseason and he'll be ready to go day one. I mean, I would rather have the meniscus situation rather than a neck when it comes to um, Van Der Esch who just retired or the whole thing going on with Chase Young. Uh, Ryan Shaw, Sneed's pretty nice, but I wouldn't overpay for him. Good point. John says, I feel bad, y'all Titans fans, because of Rabel. And Ryan's a Pats fan. We appreciate you on the channel, buddy. Uh, we got Adam. Sneed is 27 years old. It's in his prime, maybe. Wilson says he can buy some new knees. Bring him on. Love it. Love it. Oh, my gosh. You guys are killing me. Uh, Jeremy says, I agree on that note with the cap. So we talked about how old he is. Joe, shout out again for being a member. Chef says, what about our second for Sneed and their third? So, hey, if you can just give him for a third the next year, 2025, I just say do that. I don't want to give him my sack 38, but I don't know. Maybe they would flip picks. You can uh, get later in the second round, and they can move up. I don't know if they'd do that, though. That was That's pretty crappy. JS75 says, what kind of knee issues? So we talk Titans for life. Uh, brisket made me laugh. John says, Steelers traded Pickett to the Eagles. I hope the Pats trade for him. Jacoby Brissett is not it. Uh, that's your motto. Tighten up. I think some screws are loose. Random guy says tighten up. Yes. Don't like Taylor Swift or Kansas city, but they both can suck it. Says Beal. Uh, I'm a professional bystander chef. Love it. Uh, Titans Ross says now I got that. Let it go. song stuck in my head. Jake Titan false. They lost the super bowl. Like we did. LOL. Uh, I hope we can take Marvin Harris Jr. I, I've seen him. My son said he dropped to seven in one of the latest mocks. Titan fans to <laughs> absolutely stun me with uh, some of their takes. Zach says, I don't want to trade for Sneed. Trade Traylon and the seventh for him. That'd be fine. Allen, did you watch the Super Bowl? I did. Duncan, shout out to him. Duncan's been in the last couple shows. I appreciate Duncan. Again, this is our Tuesday night light show. Again, it's it's green for a reason. When I when I debuted it years ago, that we went with the whole green thing. Uh, it's not because of St. Patrick's Day. I mean, I probably should have threw it out there for that day, but then my my main shows upload live. That's on Sunday nights, and we will be doing full frame. Trust me, we'll be doing a kind of a mixture of both. And again, I I, I know we got C Run in here somewhere or whatever his name is. But again, you could help out the channel by hitting those like buttons. We appreciate it. There are three dots in the upper right hand corner at seventy four likes. We're 74% to our goal. Um, and then if there's a red button there, we just ask you to hit that subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. We are right now uh, 131 of you watching, which is awesome. 120 or hour and 24 minutes. The poll question I've been asking you guys, I think it is important. What are you thinking about Sneed? Do you want him? Do you have to have him? We're at 37% saying yes. Keep making the highest paid. 27% said no, 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 no. And now we're getting up there with uh, Tredavious White, 22%, and then draft a corner still lowest at 14. Leon says, Titans know how to build superstars. A.J. Brown, King Henry might be good to leave for free agency and focus on the draft now. What about a possibility of Traylon Burks trade with the Jets? 
Now with Mike Williams going there, I don't know. Do they even need Traylon Burks? You know, they signed Mike Williams today for one year, 15 million. So they, maybe they don't even need him. Let's get back to the Sneed bad needs convo. That is misinformation. LOLs those Raiders roundup. I'll tell you what, he might be looking good in a Raider uniform next to Devonte Adams. Speaking of Devonte Adams, let me go ahead and click over the next thing here. So we got Sneed still alive. We still got some Sneed talk. I'm excited to see what you're thinking there. But I saw this come out. Netflix is debuting a new receipt. Peyton Manning and, and Patrick Mahomes getting together. If you haven't seen the fake Patrick Mahomes takes over the mall on YouTube, check it out. It's hilarious. My going to throw it out there to you. I'm going to try to get that guy on the show. The fake Patrick Mahomes. I, I think that would be amazing. Now, I don't think he'd do it or he probably, he probably asked for too much money. He probably wants money to do it. Those are always the fun guests when you reach out to guests and they're like, well, you know, I'd love to come on the channel, uh, but my going rate is uh, 250 bucks uh, for every hour. Then I'm on. And, <laughs> hey, man, we're good. Have a great day. Go Bulldogs or go Titans or go Falcons or go whatever. But the bottom line is this is a new receiver um, show, just like the quarterback. The quarterback thing was good. Mariota has his own personal chef. That's cool. Like I would never have known that, right? I wish I had my own perf, per, uh, you know, personal chef. I, I'd probably be a lot healthier. I, I would look a lot better. I would be more in shape. But unfortunately, I just don't have that kind of money. I'm my own professional, um, you know, chef, which would still be cool. Mariota's favorite place to eat. If you watch the show, you guys leave a comment. Where is Mariota's favorite place to eat? He gets a cheat day. He always goes to this place. He loves it. In the comment, definitely, uh, and I'll put you on the screen, and I'll give you, like, a 1,000 shout-outs if you get it right. If you watch that on Netflix, you would know. So they're debuting this new receiver list. So my question to you is, did A.J. Brown make the list? If if any of the if any of the receivers, the ones I'd be really interested in would be A.J. Brown because that whole fiasco in Philadelphia. And A.J. Brown's a really good receiver. So I'm thinking, hey, did, is he going to be on the show, this new receiver show, Peyton Manning? You would think they would have went out and got and tried to. These are the receivers. And I'm just like, blah, this is freaking ridiculous. Kittle. He's not even a receiver. He's tied in. Come on. Devontae Adams. I mean, is he even good that more? I mean, I don't even know if he's any good. He plays in Las Vegas. All right, we got to sign him up. Fine. Debo Samuel. I mean, you already have Kittle. You're already getting the 49ers take. Why do we need two 49ers? Whatever. St. Brown from the Lions. Um, Khalif Raymond and Josh Reynolds are gone probably now, right? I would think Khalif Raymond is. Definitely Josh Reynolds was a free agent. I don't know if he resigned there. I, I don't really care. I, I get it with the knee comment. Sneed should go to the Lions because their coach loves to eat kneecaps, so that would be a perfect ha 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 transition. I know nobody laughed. Whatever. You guys are a tough crowd today. And then Jefferson. The only reason why Jefferson's intriguing is for the... I got a thumbs down for that. That's awesome. The only reason why that Jefferson comment is um, interesting for me would be if he gets traded. Then it, I think it opens the door, um, you know, if he gets traded somewhere. But don't, no no A.J. Brown. I'm actually kind of shocked on that. You want to watch the Netflix thing with the receivers? Do you not seem to be doing the whole position group? Again, I don't... It's a filler. It's, it's a transition to um, not entirely spend the whole show on Snead, even though that's kind of what I want to talk about. Um, but anyways, uh, we got Duncan says Detroit's still in cap space. I wonder if they'll be quietly a contender for Snead. Did you discuss the signing of uh, Joseph Day? Chef says, yes, we did. So we talked about him. It's not not terrible. He's going to be a backup. I mean, I mean, that's what it is. Defensive line depth. Um, you know, overall, I mean, it's it's not it's not horrific. We got into his grades too, uh, according to Pro Football Focus. We talked about. Um, I'll go ahead and change up my screen here real quick. Click the button. Boom! There we are. Oh, there we are. Boom. Okay. Talked about his first week. Uh, Miami terrible. Forty five grade. Forty six grade at Kansas City. Forty five point seven grade at New England. Week thirteen. Week fourteen. Uh, Forty nine grade. So he had a lot of forty nines, but he did his best game was against Dallas. He had a really good game against the Jets. He had a good game against Green Bay. He had an okay game against Vegas. So he did some things. And then we talked about him overall. What you're trying to get is the point we tried to make is 2020. He's relatively young, right? But in 2020 from Rutgers, he was um, 
kind of a stud. He was he was pretty good in 2020. He had uh, 412 total snaps, but he had 80.6 overall grade in that year. And uh, I think overall, that's kind of what you're uh, looking at, right? You're looking at a guy who's probably going to come in as a backup. He has 11 career sacks. He has 19 career hits. He has 50, 50 uh, hurries, 163 total tackles. I mean, that's not great. But again, you're talking about how much time he's really playing everybody. I mean, yes, he got 600 snaps in 23. He got uh, 700 snaps in 2022. But his first three years in the league, 2021, 2020, 2019, I mean, they're all under 500 snaps. And two, uh, two of, or one of them is 340. So, again, this guy is not, it's not an, I mean, I can't imagine they're paying him that much. But, you know, so, yeah, we did talk about him a little bit. Uh, we also talked about Tredavious White and would you want him? And we also talked about, uh, like, he's only played one season since 2017 of 1,000 snaps. That's not great. But at the same time, like, he was very productive early on in his career. Former All-Pro, just like I formally could touch the rim. But it doesn't mean I can anymore, and I think we talked about that a little bit. I'm not overpaying for for White. And, again, he, he has visits with the Rams, Titans, and then the connection and what I think a lot of people think, probably Vegas, he's going to sign with the Giants because of the coaching staff. And it's really close proximity to Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. Now we're going to New York, New York, even though I think they play New Jersey. Uh, we should ask Sal that one. 275 votes. If we could try to get 300 votes, that would make me feel better. And 100 likes. We have not moved on the likes at all. We're, we're at 74 and now we're at 76. But as far as the votes, we're at 275. I think we can make that happen. At least. 75, uh, I'm sorry, 37% of the 275 are saying, yes, keep Snead. Like, like, give him everything I meant. My question was, do you want Snead to come to the Titans? Like, should Rand go all in? You're, and, and the poll question was, the answer is yes. Go all in. Get Snead. Just bring him in. The other one says no, stand firm. That's at 26%. Add white instead, 22 and 15%. So draft a corner actually went up. If you were going to ask me, I'm drafting Kool-Aid at 38. That's where I'm at right now. I don't believe it'll be available, but that's where I was at right now. Okay? So we'll leave that. We'll go back to this screen. Okay? All right. So anyways, and then we had some guy in here talking crap, so that's always fun. But we're good. We're good. We're moving on. Jake says, no want to be the Bengals. We're the Titans. Let's go. Um, we had a super chat earlier, too. We'll put that on the screen one more time from Leon. So shout out to Leon for the super chat. We appreciate you. We do get 78 likes. Remember, the three dots, boom, 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 on the upper right-hand corner. YouTube makes it difficult. I know, and that's what they do. But they make that subscribe button easy to hit. They do that, too. So if you at least can hit that, that'd be great, too. So let's go all the way to the bottom to get to your, some comments, and then we'll get ready to close it up. Right now we're 118. We've been over 100 strong throughout the night. Appreciate every one of you again. Uh, we got the Seawalk thing going on. Shout out to him. All right, so we got Beast King 91. Shout out to Beast King. What's going on? Adam says, who's ahead of day in depth charts besides Big Jeff? Depth chart is something I want to share what I'm doing because I don't want whatever. But there is something that I don't know. It's probably going to have to be full screen. But I do want to give you all the, the most up-to-date roster heading into the draft and spending some time on there. Also, Broshmo, we love him on the channel, and draft underscore Brian. The dream has been to bring both those guys in at the same time and have them face off in like a war room situation. Uh, and that's ultimately what I'm going to try to get done this year. But if I don't, I'll just have them on at separate times. Again, me and Broshmo go w way back to the fan to fan network with the, the fantasy football counselor, wherever he's at. Shout out to him. But now we got a lot of talented guys that came from that. That wasn't a complete waste of time. A lot of talented guys, a lot of great connections, and um, they're starting the roundtables for the divisions. And I know we are involved in one of them, the AFC South roundtable, which go check them out. Uh, Rossi was on there. Rossi's been most of the go-to guy on that. I mean, I've had basketball and some other things I'm dealing with. But, yes, there it is. Mariota liked McDonald's. You never told us the answer. You're right. McDonald's. You're good. Did anyone guess that, by the way? Oh, Rossi did. Gosh dang it, Rossi. And then over chicken. All right, Rossi ruined it for everybody. But it is McDonald's. Shout out to him. So that's that's great. Appreciate it. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Um, what else we got here? Jeremy says tighten up. Appreciate you, Jeremy. 
I did not talk about Corey Davis. I'm one of the few that would love to have Corey Davis come back. Why not run it back with Corey Davis? Uh, Beast King plays football. Awesome. Awesome. What position do you play? All right. King in the house. Zeus said, lol, you ain't coming out of that pit. No time soon. <laughs> Nine rings of a blank, a type of thing. King, thanks for being here, buddy. We appreciate you. Oh, Titans Rossi says over chicken was the first. My bad. Over chicken. Get a shout out. Get some claps. And uh, I don't I don't know what this button is. Get that too. So over chicken, shout out to you. No updates, EO on a, on an offensive tackle. Um, I know we're bringing in a tackle right from the is his name Pete or something from the he's got a hundred career starts since 2015 from the Saints. They don't think the Saints are gonna re-sign him. Drinking whiskey out of the old coffee mug, says William. Actually, it's the old tea, my friend. This guy, unfortunately, uh, I don't know if it's a good thing, a bad thing. Maybe, maybe with the voice, got to be doing something. But I was just never much brought up as a drinker. Honest truth, man. Never brought up as a drinker. So I just, um, I, I don't know. My issue is soda. So, I mean, that's my issue. So does this, th that's my issue. So, I mean, I just need to like not drink it and just drink water, but that that's just me. Uploads going to toast, be the toast at work tomorrow, says Luke. Oh, goodness. Uh, Leon says, uh, fake Mahomes is crazy. Love it, man. Love that video. He does. He sounds just like Mahomes, just like him. Now I'm like, uh, Trent Davenport, I remember. I got something to tell you. All right. So we're closing up the show. It's getting light. So here we go. All right. Teron Davenport. With all these news and, and rumors and things coming out and all this thing going around for the Titans. Okay. Teron Davenport said, no, Titans are not in on this. Um, I mean, maybe they call whatever, but the Titans aren't in, in on this. Like it's being reported. It's coming from Teron Davenport. Okay. Now, I don't know the context of how he said it, whether it be a tweet or on Jared Stillman's show, but I know Jared was running around with this today and debating on, hey, I'm not going to believe it because Teron doesn't believe it. So, that, so that's where things going. Oh, Kadarius Tony, nice. He was offsides, my friend. He was offsides. So when we get to this and Teron says, hey, the Titans really aren't in, in, interested in this, I know some of you are going to be like, well, I guess there goes that. It's out. It's done. But I will give you a little bit of hope. Teron also told Jared a while back, and I was on this telling you this, that, and we love Teron on this channel. Titans, when he asked about the center, Teron says, I don't think they're taking the center. I think they're going to draft one. And that's when I got really afraid because I'm like, oh no, like we're going to be stuck with Aaron Brewer again. I want to, if, if he wants to come as a backup, fine. But that became the ultimate issue. Aaron Brewer, I don't want him back for the – I think we really, really – I mean, I give him credit. He got paid. He got $21 million from the Dolphins. And Brewer's a good guy. He played a lot of games for us. It's not a knock on him. But, Ben, did we – can we can we huddle up? I, I, we, don't, we don't get a lot of huddles. We got to get one huddle a show. We're huddling it up. All right, bring everybody in. Let's go. Bring them in. Can we all agree on something, guys, before we break out of this huddle? The Tennessee Titans missed Ben Jones. Can we get an amen with that? Can we can we get a clap to that? The Titans missed Ben Jones in 2023. Ready? Break. There we go. We got our huddle in. But it's true. We missed the heck out of Ben Jones. And Aaron Brewer just couldn't fill the shoes. So them going out and get, you know, Cushionberry, like Teron Davenport didn't think that was going to happen. He didn't think that was going to happen. He thought they were going to draft someone later in the rounds. And what did the Titans do? They just didn't go out and get a center. They paid the highest free agent signing bonus ever to a center and Cushenberry, Lloyd Cushenberry from Denver, which tells you Rand was all in. 
So Teron being close to the team and knowing some insides and outsides, maybe put it out there for misinformation. Maybe he's putting this out there for misinformation. Still should have faith. I don't even want Snead, but I know a lot of you do. And if you do, I would be more optimistic by a couple things we shared tonight. Number one, I'm optimistic about this, that they're still talking. That's a good thing. You know, if you ever break up with someone the, the or you get in a fight with someone, it doesn't even have to be like a relationship thing like uh, that way, but it could be like your friend or something like that or work or, or something like you're, you're trying to get a job maybe. It could be a ton of things. The issue comes to play when lines of communication are stalled and they're no longer available. There's no talking. There's no dialogue going back and forth. If that's you right now, I'm speaking to you right now, and I'm giving you some advice. This guy makes a lot of mistakes. This guy is not perfect whatsoever, okay? I'm just being honest. I never would put myself above anybody. And to me, to be honest, if you watch me from day one to where we're watching now, I've been consistent at one thing. And I've always said this platform is not about me. It's not even really about the Titans. It's about us. It's about us as fans. And that's what it was. Now, I get it. I'm a Titans fan. This thing is centered more on Titans than anything else. But the bottom line is a lot of people will come in here with different takes, different comments. I've never, ever ridiculed anyone for their comments. And most of you don't get on me for some bogus comments that I say myself. So thank you for that. But, again, having the communication gives me hope. That's why this is kind of important, if you wanted Sneed. And we'll see if we did the whatever for the poll question. The other one that we came across was this one that was obviously earlier, which is basically saying, hey, look, according to Kansas City Radio, uh, I had it again, and then I lost the drive. It was shared that the Titans might have been the one that offered the 2025 third-round pick, which the Chiefs accepted, but then turned around and Snead was like, told you all I'm playing for $22 million. I mean, I don't know how much louder I got to be, but when I say $22 million, that's what I'll be playing for. Boom. There you go. So he he, he just said no to the Titans. I don't think he said no to Rand Carthon and, and Will Levis and Jeffrey Simmons, but I think he said no for the money reason. So that means if money's there, then maybe he would say yes and come. I believe he doesn't have a no trade clause anyways, but he's got the franchise tag. So therefore you're either going to spend a third round pick, have him play for one year, which is definitely not what we want to do because we are rebuilding starting from the ground up pretty much. Worst case scenario is bring all these high free agents for one year contracts and then lose every single one of them next year and be in the same boat we were in, okay? Sean says, what would be the cost for Snead? Right now, according to what's being reported, even though I think a lot of it's smoke, the Titans would offer a third-round pick next year. Chiefs agreed. Four years, $80 million. Snead said no. So that's where we're at. And that goes to my poll question. We hit 300. Let's go. I told you I get more excited about the poll than anything. I mean, we're still at 82 likes. I mean, I'll get excited for 100 likes, but the poll quest, 300, that's great, okay? Says, yes, make him the highest paid, 37%. No, stand firm, says 26%. And I asked you again, do you want Rand to be all in for Sneed? And then add Tredavious White, which you talked about that earlier, 21%. Ugh. And then draft a corner at still at 15. Jeremiah, upload. How do you feel about the fighting Illini in the tournament? Great segue. If you want to, and I don't even know how many can join. And Chris, I'll get to your comment next. If you want to join, go to the community page. It'd be nice if you were a subscriber, by the way. You don't have to be a, a 145 member, but but you, it'd be nice if you were a subscriber. But you go to the um, community page. You scroll down a little bit. You'll see I made a Titan Upload Bracket Challenge. It's completely free. There's no, like, uh, you know, hidden messages here. It's just for fun. Of course, Upload's going to have you covered for something if you win. Like, Upload's going to do something nice. But the bottom line is, it's all going to be for fun. It's all going to be for fun. So I'm excited. And by the way, how do I feel about my Illini? They're, they're 
If you watch the little March Madness thing that I did, that 184 of you watch, shout out to you. Um, I would say this. I do not feel really confident about the Illini because when it comes to March Madness lately, it's like they flop. They were the number one seed that lost in the second round to Loyola. Played terrible. We're, to- we're behind like seven or eight points a whole game. Um, I do feel, and then they lost to Houston. Ken Moore is going to give me a bunch of crap about that one in the 5-4 matchup. But the point I'm trying to make is I think Illinois is probably a team who might win the first against Moorhead State and then play BYU. BYU goes crazy on three-pointers, and then they're out because Illinois likes to go on these little stretches. Iowa State, I mean, they seem pretty good. Uh, I can't believe that they're considered the eight overall because UConn was considered the one. So they kind of see them that way. But, um, again, I'm excited. That's officially started tonight, but – the big one starts on Thursday. I think 68 was the most ridiculous things. Rossi says 18 more likes to 100. Let's do like a blitz to get our dude there. We appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Jeremiah, are you the one that's kind of by Peoria? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Chris, yours truly five says I'm a Titans and Dolphins. I think he means fan. There is no hype around Brewer. <laughs> That is classic. That is getting starred. I start a few comments. I got my wall of flame. Shout out to NGB Talk who came up with that name. Wherever NGB Talk is, man, much love to you, buddy. We miss you on the channel. Uh, that's kind of when we were brought up and raised with NGB Talk on uh, Titan Upload. That That's kind of me and him, man. It was a lot of fun, though. Me and him had a lot of great times. Um, but, yeah, I, I think ultimately – the, the dolphin hype on Brewer is comical. You guys are killing me, man. Titans for life says, yep, just like the AJ comments went down and bam, another one. Hey, as long as I'm the head coach, ha, ha, ha. I got to, I don't know which one it is. I don't know which one it is. Is it this one? Is this the one? If I was the coach, this is probably the most. If I was the coach, AJ Brown's always gonna be on this team. Or is it this one? Hey, if I was the coach, if I was the coach, AJ Brown would always be on this team. Maybe that's not it. Maybe just. Hey, if I was the coach, AJ Brown would always be on this team. I gotta know my pads over here on my uh, Roadcaster Pro. I, I mean, I I got the like I one. It, it's kind of funny. There was a watch party, and I hit the wrong button, and I was talking in like uh, like. I don't know, like the mouse voice for like literally 10 minutes before I figured it out. So I got the monster on there. I got the mouse and I got a bunch of other voices, but who knows? It's probably ridiculous. Um, breaking our beast. 91 says the Titans should be extra good next year. I hope so. Uh, Chris says, I feel like we should draft another Adunze, uh, Jared versus Joe alt. It would be great. Um, with the first pick, if we go, and then we go Kingsley, uh, and the second over chicken says the dolphins really paid Brewer more than we paid him a lot more. I thought 4.5 was bad over chicken and then baked on B H O says, didn't they take Panda (laughs) too? Yes, they did. I forgot about that. That's getting starred. You guys know your dolphins, man. Where's the dolphin? I, Get a dolphin party going on here. Look at that. Look at that. Aaron Brewer, shout out to you with the dolphins. Let's get you on the the main camera. Let's have some fun tonight. It's, oh, no, it froze. That ain't good. That ain't good. There we go. Let's get the, let's get the dolphin to zone. There it is. Look at that. Miami Dolphins. See, I told you I need some updated helmets. Need some updated helmets. Uh, We'll send NGV talk a message. Yeah, we got to get him on, Rossi. It'll be a lot of fun. Do the mouse voice. I don't know. Did the mouse voice even work? It's one of these buttons. Does this one work? Is this the mouse one? Is this one the mouse? Is this one the mouse? I don't know. Is that working? I don't know. It's got to be one of these buttons. It's a mouse one. Whatever. Cause access need or light both have new issues. Um, but access needs that guy. I'm not sure how I feel about any of this anymore. 
Paul Washington, 312, last time, 38%, 27, stand firm, 21, say, hey, Rand should just take White instead, and then 15%, say, draft a corner. Well, the music started to play, which means we are rounding up to be officially done. Again, I appreciate you guys. It was a fun show. Uh, I, I kind of felt like this one would be fun because of, uh, like I said, work's always going to be there. I always tell you, take notes. I do it the old-fashioned way. Wanted to go more draft tonight, but unfortunately, like, there's so much going on in this Titan stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, whatever. Um, but the bottom line is, I had a blast, and I hope you guys at least enjoyed uh, hanging out with me tonight. Now we didn't get the 100 likes, so I can't be too greedy. We did even, we did an 87 on a YouTube short live. Like, you can add 5,000 views, and get 100 likes is not that easy. Okay, you now we never had 5,000 views on, on a YouTube live. But, I mean, the Murray YouTube shorts take it off still. I mean, that thing's still getting 20 views an hour. And that was made over a week ago. People loved themselves in Kenneth Murray Jr. That was almost at 6,000 at this point. So for us, short, that's pretty good on this channel. So we'll take it. Um, can we get players with the aces? Thanks for like, first Spears, now Snead. We have two players with no knees. Gotta get Coach Campbell in because he loves the kneecaps. No, I have a big funnel. Jared says, scroll down in the chat. Uh, robot. Oh, that was robot that I had. It was left on robot. I'm still in right now, boys. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. Good call. Thanks, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, too fun. Too fun. Oh, my gosh. A lot of fun, man. Having too much fun. T Pain Voice. That's why you're saying Mr. Roboto. Oh my gosh, I'm a moron. Am I still in robot? Upload with one of these smoker voice box things. Oh my gosh, you guys are too funny, man. You're too funny. All right. So, anyways, just to wrap it up, let me so I know a lot of you are in on Sneed. Again, 316 voted. We did sign this guy. He's okay. He'll be a backup. We talked about the Netflix series coming out with receivers. I don't think too many are interested in that, but I was interested to see if A.J. Brown made the list. Fortunately, he did not. It's the one guy they probably wanted to have. We talked about White coming to the Titans. Uh, Tredavious White is planning a visit to the Titans. Will that visit happen? Well, Chase Young did not happen, so who knows? We also talked about Chase Young. And we talked about how Chase Young signed with the um, Saints, but the issue with Chase Young apparently was his neck. And that, I mean, that's why some teams didn't want to invest in him. The Saints are like, hey, we're going to invest. We'll give you $13 million, even though you don't even have that much cap room. And then a lot of you, we talked about the Derrick Henry interview. I don't want to go back and talk about that again, but um, a lot of you joined tonight for this reason Sneed. And I can at least give you this as we end. Sneed at least is still in play for those of you that want Sneed. I can say that. He's still in play. Now, Teron Davenport, I, I do love him, and I and I get that, that Jared might not have hope, Jared Stillman, but I also think there, there's a reason for this kind of stuff, to throw a lot of crap out there to try to get some wiggle room so you can maneuver and to act like you're not interested. So the Chiefs... And Sneed, maybe they can talk him into a deal. Now, I've also been told that the Chiefs would be okay and content paying him on the franchise tag, but there are other people that say that's not exactly true either. So it's just all with what it is. You just never know. Phil, we'll leave it with your comment, buddy. He says, I love the show. Hey, we love you, Phil. And thanks again for leaving your comment. Again, on your way out of here, three buttons, boom, boom, boom. It's our last chance. Hit that like button. All right, you hit that like button, you might get to see C run or whatever that guy's name was. See, I don't know, whatever. We love him on the channel. I, I don't really know his motivation tonight. We had our, a career bounce back. Since we've been back, we got the most dislikes for any show. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. Oh, my gosh. Either, hey, you don't like Sneed or there's something way else over our head right now. But who knows? 
We'll use them as likes. So like 87 and five gets us 90 stinking two. So we'd be eight away. Um, but yeah, Sneed, poll. You said yes, make it happen. 37%. I say no, just let it go. But I would also say, yes, I will do the deal that was presented today. Four years, 80 million. Also, I would do the third round next year. And we'll leave it at that. Again, apologize for being in the old uh, robot voice. We tried to find the mouse voice. Didn't work. I'll do a better job labeling my system here. Because obviously I had no idea. Until next time, you guys know what I'm going to say. Don't forget. It's a tight Take care of it.